What's up guys, it's the Carp here, back with another episode of How to Win Titles, and I have joined another new club, we're at Rail San Sebastian, um, for those of you that don't know, that is Rail Sociedad, uh, but FM doesn't have the rights to La Liga, something along those lines, um, so Rail San Sebastian, Rail Sociedad, they are 10th in La Liga, uh, I was actually, you, you'll see that we're part of the way through the season, I was gonna stick at Everton, <clears throat> but, uh, I was going to kind of see if I could make Everton a super club, uh, but just got a little bored, and, uh, you know, I, I had already won every every title that I needed in that country, uh, so La Liga is actually the last, uh, last major league that I need, and then I'll need, you know, the Spanish Cup and all that, but, um, <clears throat> so I'm actually going to be setting up the team today, which is a little bit different than what I would normally do, uh, I haven't really looked at squ the squad yet at all, but, um, we can look at uh, Everton real quick for you Evertonians. I did leave you guys in a very good position. <clears throat> That's what the uh, the top goal scorers were looking like, um, the best players and stuff like that. And they are still top of the Premier League, joined on points with Man City. Um, so Everton will be just fine. But let's get into... Oh, crap. I just progressed a day. All right. So I'm going to be doing all this live. I'm going to be setting up my team. So, let's give you guys a bit of an insight. I did this sort of in the, uh, <clears throat> in my uh, Youth to Glory series, but it'll be it'll be more useful now if you've never set up a team before. So, I'm going to ignore injuries for now. I'm just going to get my best players in the lineup. Uh, so, indeed, he can play. I would like to play with the same formation as well. This is my favorite formation in FM. Um, but, it kind of just depends on how good the fullbacks are, the wingbacks, whatever you want <clears throat> to play. Um... For the Spanish national team right now, I'm actually I've, I've switched to uh, to wing backs, so switch formations. But probably not doing that at club level. See, this guy's not great, but he is young. He's got a decent uh, decent rating there. Uh, Rui's really good in goal. This is actually so far looking like a team that uh, that I could win the title with. Maybe just maybe. So Demarco is very good, um, but. Our best right back is a loady that's 20 years old and isn't that great. We don't really have any other coverage there, so I'm I'm gonna be selling this guy <clears throat> more than likely. Uh, let's see who else we got. Okay, so he's pretty decent as well, so we'll get him in there. Um, he's a pretty good striker. Anthony, it's not bad. He'll, he'll be good off the bench. Mostly looking at stats at this point. Did I have any any center midfielders that I put in the team yet? So let's see what we got. All right. So at this point, we still need four players. Um, this guy's a center defender. He'll be in the middle. And Diddy's a ball-winning mid. <clears throat> Yan is all I can play. Okay, so we're going to go with inside forwards. Bautista is a poacher. Okay, so I would prefer something that's not a poacher up front alongside Bautista there. Uh, I'd prefer probably an advanced playmaker or a deep playmaker or a center mid uh, in this position. Well, really anything that's not a ball any mid because I've got an advanced playmaker there. Uh, I like to have three different positions ideally there, and I want two ball-playing defenders. So we've got Utikai as well. He's actually got a low, a low rating there at two stars, but his stats are just fine. He'll be good for us. This guy's not bad, either. He might even be better than uh, the guy we got in there. Yeah, I think I'm going to start him. Leading him around. I mean, the rating isn't that much different. We've got Hendricks here as well. He's probably not going to start. This guy's not a bad ball-playing defender. For now, I'm going to put him in there. If I can't afford one, if I can't afford a starter, at least, he, he'll be just fine. Ooh... He's got really decent stats as well. So again, if I if I can't find a better starter on the transfer market, then I will go with him. I do think we got a decent budget here. But first things first, I want to get my squad together. So we got lots of attacking midfield options. All right, so now let's get the bench. Um, so let's see. I'm going to get Anthony on the bench for now because he can play at striker and right wing. And this guy can play at left wing, so he will go on the bench as well. And then I want one attacking mid. Could have swore we had a couple of attacking mids. I guess it's just this dude, Roberto Lopez. So he can go on the bench as our attacking mid. Hendricks can be our uh, one of our midfielders. I'd prefer another one. Probably not him. He can only play at defensive mid. I could train him up, but 
I'm probably going to buy a substitute, um, advanced playmaker. Um, Lamptey, Lamptey, I thought it was Lamptey there for a second. All right, so he'll be one of our defenders. So I want a ball playing defender substitute, a advanced playmaker substitute, and then I need a, f I definitely need a starting forward. That said, Luke is actually not bad. He can go in there for now. Although we're not playing with wingers, so I'd rather not use a target man. But I wouldn't mind having one off the bench. Okay, so now we've got that out of the way. We've got plenty of backup goalkeepers here. You don't need this many backup goalkeepers. Um, let's see what we got. I'm actually just going to move these guys all to... Can I not? Is our... Uh, okay, so I was going to relegate these guys to the second team. That would be why. We have way too many players in the second team. Okay, so first off, actually, because normally what I would do is I would just send whoever I want to sell to the second team, and I would just go through and sell them. Do I have anyone in the second team that's good, though? This guy's not bad. I'll move him to the first team for now. He'll make a decent sub. Uh, he's... Okay, that's pretty much the only player that's good right now. He's got good potential. This guy does, but he's a right back. Defensive mid, okay, he might be good on loan. So no one really that's a starter there. Maybe this guy. I'm going to retrain him positions, see if he can play at center mid. Maybe it might be a little longer, I'm not too sure. Probably get at least one game in this. <clears throat> okay, so... I'm not going to be able to move players back and forth from the teams, but... Um, I've got three backup goalkeepers. None of them are worth a lot. Mindy's worth the most. I'm going to sell him. So what I do is I just offer him for like a low fee there. If there's multiple teams bidding $5 million, then I will up it. And I'm going to try to get rid of this guy as well. Alright. Don't need any right backs. So he can go. Um... I could end this loan. I'll keep it. No, I'm not gonna keep it for now. We'll be we'll be able to bring players in. Let's just end that loan, get him off the team, out of out of my way for selection wise. This guy's very not good. Um, all right, so Demarco here, one of our star players, but he is gonna be leaving. I'm gonna start it off at 30 million, and we'll see where that goes. If he had a chance to play at uh, left left like left forward slash left wing. If, if he could play here, I wouldn't mind it, but there's a very low chance that I'm going to train him to play there. Maybe as a winger, but I'm not going to be playing with wingers. So he's not going to be uh, part of this team. He's our second most expensive player, I think. This guy I'm going to keep, but I'm going to try... Ooh, central defender. Okay, so we'll train him as a central defender first, and then as a midfielder. As a defender, he needs dribbling, either way. Let's put him on intensive, make him a ball-playing defender. There we go. Don't need any left backs. That's the same guy I just looked at. All right. He will stay for now. This guy's on loan. Might not start. He might start. I don't know. Or might might come off the bench anyways. Okay, so. How much money do I have? 103 mil. Alright, that's not bad. Uh, I do want to sort my staff out as well. Very important. So, attacking, youth, attacking, fitness. Uh, how's my reputation and how's the club's reputation? Can I get any coach that I want? Let's see, coach, uh, let's go general, gold, natural. Okay, general's good, fitness, good, motivational, defensive. Okay, so we can get any kind of coach I want. So in that case, my 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 specialty, like as a coach, is attacking. So I'm going to get rid of the other attacking coaches. All right, so now we've got a youth and a fitness. I don't really need a youth because, you know, again, we're just going for the major titles here and then leaving the club, theoretically. But I could end up with this team for a while. Who knows? The only thing after I win all these trophies will be just international trophies, which I really think I'm only going to go for the Cup of America, uh, maybe the Gold Cup. Probably not going to go for, like, the North American Nations League um, and all that stuff. But anyways, so we got fitness and youth. I would definitely want a general. Um, and we'll just go for the youngest one. Never mind, he's a player. Okay. And then... Defensive? Yeah, we'll go for a defensive coach. 
Actually, actually, let's go for a motivational coach. Yeah, we'll go motivational. Could be useful at a team that's going to be, uh, you know, somewhat difficult to uh, to get wins with. Theoretically, I think looking at the squad, I think I could pretty easily finish in the top four this season, even though we are in tenth place now. All right, so now that I've got that sorted, not quite done yet though. Uh, scouts, I don't need scouts right now. Physios, we got prevention, rehabilitation, and rehabilitation. Normally, I prefer two preventions, one rehab, but that's I'm just gonna leave it like the way it is. That will be fine. Now let's get into the transfers. So who's interested? What kind of players are we looking at? Wow, not. A lot of world beaters in there. Ooh. Moro is very good. I'm not going to be able to afford him. Unless he doesn't play. Does he play? No. Or, yeah, yeah, he does. Definitely plays. Okay, so let's look... Let's look at the transfer listed. This is some, one of the first things that I do. Okay, so immediately, he has very good stats. He's only 20 years old. He's a wonder kid. He's on the transfer list, so I might better get him a little bit cheaper. Let's just submit a low bid to start. We're one of several clubs going for him, so I'm not going to go for him. Um, Yedvai's not good enough. That guy's not good enough. Ooh, he's got some good stats. We don't have a f phenomenal left winger right now. We'll get a decent one. Again, that's several clubs competing. 32 and a half, though. Okay, so I can get him for that. He does lack shooting, but he's got really good dribbling. Decent passing, decent crossing, pace... Um, so that's a good option there. Really need a striker, though. Striker's my main concern. Okay, so let's get rid of transfer listed. Let's get rid of interested for now. Because most players you will be able to attract to the club if you're a decent manager. All right, so let's go for dribbling, pace, and shooting. Let's go for 14 on each of those and see what pops up. Okay, I, I knew there was going to be plenty there. Let's go for passing as well. Because we are a slightly smaller club, I don't need a perfect player, but I would prefer him to have decent passing as well. Okay. Um, and technique. Technique's another one that a lot of a lot of the best players have. Let's go for 13 technique. And I guess I'll just look specifically for a striker. Alright. So. Now we just gotta look. Okay, so Liao is a very good option. Alright, so there's no other clubs competing. I don't have anyone that I can trade, which is unfortunate. But, what if we go for 35 million? 50% selling. Oof. 40? 41? Hmm. I might not be able to do this one. Most I can go is 45. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get Liao. Because I do want to buy at least a couple other players. Cristo, he's not bad. What's this guy? Okay, so Cristo. I'm really surprised there's only this many players. Let's get rid of Technique. Why is there... Oh. Let's put Technique back on. Um, let's try this, because sometimes it doesn't pick up all, all the strikers. There's going to be other players that can play a striker. Um, like Depay, for example. Who's it? Real Madrid now. Wow. I've actually had him at uh, two different clubs. Had him enter briefly before putting, giving him back to Bayern Munich. Had him at Bayern Munich. How much is it going to cost, though? I would love to have Depay in. Alright, so 80 million. Do we have anyone we can trade? Hmm. He's starting. This guy's not, though. And if I bring in... I'd, I'd want him for the bench, though. DeMarco, though. Will they take DeMarco? Might be able to actually trade them a very small amount of money with DeMarco because of DeMarco's value. So first, I'm going to go just way low. Way, way low. Complete a lot of transfers like this. You guys would have seen this series. See, there you go. That is how you get the steals. He's 30 years old, but he's a solid player. Um, There's Cristo again. Nabry. Ooh, Nabry's a steal as well. Again, just buying my former players, but okay, Nabry's not a steal. Whenever it jumps strip to 290 million like that, means that you're almost certainly not getting the player. Uh, what about Luca Bacchio? He can't actually play at striker. Wouldn't mind bringing him in though. He's gonna cost a lot of money though. Um, 
I'll go 35 and 55 or 50% uh, sell on. That's the yeah, that's the most important one. What about David Brooks though? David Brooks would be a good option. I've had him. I had him at uh, at Everton. Didn't really play a lot, but he's he's a decent player. Because I had him at Everton, I was able to train him in multiple position, positions. Um, there we go. All right, 15.75. That's a steal for those stats. Only thing he really likes is crossing uh, that you would need in any of those positions. Okay, so... Um, what else did I need? I needed a ball-playing defender. Should be able to get a ball-playing defender for pretty cheap. There's usually a good amount to pick from. Might even be able to get one on loan, which I would be would be willing to do. All right, so we're going to go for dribbling, passing, uh, pace, and tackling. 15 each. There's not interested. Let's go for not interested. Um, okay, so Aki's the cheapest, which is not cheap. Let's t get down on the dribbling. Utikai, who's at our club. Carrer, who's another great player. Could I get him on the cheap, though? Probably not. Probably not. If I can get it for 20 mil, 25 is the most I can go for him, I think. They might accept 25. Nope, okay, so we're not getting Carrer. Not getting that German deal, although we might be able to get Kempf, who I just sold to Aston Villa from Everton, who still has very good stats, and he, despite not being worth a lot, he played a lot of games for me at Everton, and he, he did well all the way through. I just replaced him with, you know, just, just absolute world beaters. But he's a solid player. He's got a 25.5 million release clause as well, so we'll be able to buy him for sure. What if I... So there's multiple clubs competing. And ours is the highest. They want 24. Can I... Okay. We'll go in, we'll go in again for him. Diego Gonzalez is another player who I actually, you know, had in the reserves of Everton. But again, he's a phenomenal player. Probably willing to come back to Spain. Ooh, a couple clubs going in. Alright, 13 million for him. That's a steal. Um, so I might not even need Kempf. Saar is also good. This is one of those ones where I'm not going to have to search for a, a whole bunch of players. Okay. Not going to be paying 45 million. What about 18.5 and 50%? Okay, I'll go 22. Alright, now nah, we're going to pass on that one. Alright, so, uh, the only other thing I know we needed was a backup uh, advanced playmaker, center midfielder. It would be great if he could play center mid and uh, attacking mid. So let's go for dribbling, passing, let's go for some pace, and then movement and creativity is what they need, right? Uh, and decisions. Decisions is the other one. They don't necessarily need dribbling or pace, but I like them to have them. So... 15 each, I'm not going to be able to afford any of them, but... Oh, Verlinden's not a center mid. He's a good player, but not a center mid. Collado, probably not going to be it, yeah. I'm not, I don't really want to pay out the ass here. So let's just go for 14 on all these. Should be a whole bunch of options. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so... Hmm. Pereira's... I mean, that's not a bad uh, backup attack mid there. How cheap can I get him? Do I have anybody I can trade? Ooh. Um, let's see. That guy's injured. Otherwise, I would happily do that. Might be able to just throw in this left back. Lower the price a little bit. Let's go for 2 million with these. Okay, so they don't want that player. But they want this guy, Thielman. 50%. 4 million. Okay, let's just go... 4.5 and 50%. I'm not giving you 8.5 and 50%. Jesus Christ. So stingy for Pereira. Pereira. He's a good player, though. I think I'm going to try to bring him in. A lot of attacking midfielders here. He doesn't have any defensive ability whatsoever. Not necessarily required, though. But he's probably going to be expensive. Let's look at interested transfer listed, maybe. Um, if we can get this guy on the cheap, he doesn't have the best of stats, but he's worth a lot. Uh, which means he could potentially, well, be expensive. And also, uh, he could potentially, like, progress into a very good player. 
Ooh, he's a great, he's a great option for that price. Absolutely. I'm gonna trade anybody for him. Do you want Germoni? God damn it. What about mm, this guy? Just a little bit less. Okay, fine. All right, five million for him. We'll take that. I still want Pereira though, so we're gonna go. I'm gonna. Oh Jesus! There's so much stuff to do. This is how it always is, though. This is how I do things. All right. So now he was not involved in the deal. So now I'm gonna. I wasn't actually done selling players. I shouldn't have went. Started buying players yet. Uh, I forgot to go through the reserves. There's not a lot of players here worth a whole bunch of value, though. So now let's just try to sell these guys. Hopefully this wasn't too boring. Hopefully you guys found it interesting. Don't usually uh, do this live, but, you know, in case anyone wants to see it, I figure I'll throw in at least one of these in this series. All right, so Kapani, we did want him. Yes, absolutely. Um, minimum, oh, it's La Liga, so you have to put a minimum release clause in. It's way, way up that. He's a very good player. Okay, let's way, way up that and up his wage. Because I don't want him being sniped as soon as I turn him into a world-class player. There we go. Diego Gonzalez will happily make his way to the team. Again, I don't want him getting poached as soon as I turn him into a world-class player. Or as soon as he becomes a, a very decent player for uh, a season or two until I sign somebody better. But he'll still be a backup. Okay, DeMarco, luckily, I didn't actually include him in a trade offer. We will sell him for 30 mil. Well, Depay doesn't want to come. Jesus, I didn't realize our wage was that low. 250k max wage, so realistically nowhere near that. Um, he's going to be a rotation for us, though. Why does he expect to be a starter in my team? Rotation. Fine. I can't, I can't, I can't offer that. Flores release clause. Oh, he's going to be a pain. Can I, is there anything I can do to help that? Probably not. I mean, that upped it a little bit, but now you got less of a wage. Are you fine with that? No. Okay, so we're not getting David Brooks, which is unfortunate. Fabas. Alex, F hey, former Real Madrid boy. I didn't even realize that when I was signing him. Just looking at his stats. You fine with that? He is. Perfect. And are you kidding me, DeMarco? Okay, so I need to try and trade DeMarco for somebody. 100%. Alright, we've got our first game. So, haven't signed anybody yet. Uh, I've got... I don't have it. So let's save this. How long have I been going? 621. Okay, so this video is getting on of it. I'm probably going to play this game, and then I'll finish up the transfers uh, off camera. You, you guys get the idea. You see what I'm doing with the team, uh, what players I'm sort of going for. So I guess we'll play this guy for now. Play kind of different kind of formation here, but it'll be fine. Um, I would prefer another center back on the bench, but it's it's fine. I don't want anybody. It's not not very good. We'll throw a striker in there. We'll play this game. Yanaze is injured. Let's get him out. Bautista's tired, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. And that is going to be the lineup. All right. I'm not going through and assigning all the numbers. It'll be fine. I only got five subs, but again, how many times can I say it? It'll be fine. First match against Almeria, not the toughest of opposition, and we are 1-0 up the tired Bautista, 92% fitness, doesn't matter. Anthony makes it 2-0, and we got that new manager boost. Hell yeah. 2 nil half time, one shot on target for the opposition. This is this has gone easier than expected, uh, to be honest. I shouldn't say that. They're going to go score. Watch. Nah, they're not scoring. We are, though. Ihiteran. Ich Ihiteran, who potentially could have been replaced uh, had I signed Brooks, but we'll never know. I'll get uh, Coach in here. Coach, Cock, I don't know. We'll go with Coach. He's a defensive forward. Sure, why not? All right.
right. Nearing towards the end of the game now. Let's make a couple more subs. Let's get uh, Anthony and Ekaterin out. Um, unfortunately, I don't actually have anybody that can play there that convincingly. Working. Eh, he'll be fine there. Yeah, he'll be fine there. Get those fresh legs on. Make sure that uh, these this starting eleven can play the next game. Because I'm very pleased as we score another goal. It is coach off the bench, the youngster, the Turkish youngster. Who who improved there? I didn't click on it. He's one of our defenders. Was it Udikai? It might have been. No, it's probably this guy. Who's yeah. I think he had 17 shooting or 17 tackling before, 18 tackling, 19 decisions, 19 positioning, 16 strength. He's got phenomenal stats, actually. He's gonna be a great player. Um, all right. Well, hopefully, um, I'll be making a lot of signings off camera. But if not, um, you know, won our first game 3-0 in charge of uh, Ralph Sociedad. So hopefully, we can storm on and somehow win the league. We are 15 points behind uh, Real Madrid. Um, but there's only 13 games played, so uh, there's always a chance. But uh, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys next time.